Hey guys, how are ya? Um, I had a good day today, I guess, you could say. Um, didn't go metal detector today, but uh, just had a good day. Other than that, I mean, work was okay. Um, it was The weather was nice out. Did go to the park, go for a walk and stuff like that. Went to the store, a couple other things. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm not going to be doing football today. I'm going to go back to baseball. Um, I'm going to be doing more of my top-loaded stars. And uh, I'm, I'll be doing football again in the future, just not today. I don't know when. It's just going to be sprinkled out throughout uh, my videos. And then also I'm going to touch on basketball and hockey as well so but uh okay so i'll get started now um next player i'm going to be showing is tom glavin this is a 1992 fleer all-star black variation or gold yeah gold edition I'm sorry I thought that thought it was called black because of uh, the regular ones uh, the regular set silver and I thought that was black because that's black but it's a gold edition obviously um, from 1993 Fleer um, Tom Glavin career highlights from 1993 Leaf, um, Gold Leaf Stars for the National League, Tom Glavin, for the American League, Jim Abbott, and for all of you who don't know, most of you know who Jim Abbott was, but if not, um, he was a one-handed baseball player that played for the University of Michigan, my home state, and he played for a few teams, most notably the Angels and the Yankees, and he pitched a no-hitter. Um, I don't remember what team he was with when he pitched the no-hitter, but... Yeah, he was a very inspirational guy, nice guy. Um, yeah, so I just remember watching him. I like I liked how he would uh, take off his glove real fast or put on his glove real fast to field because he had it hold it. He was hold had it on his uh, other arm or whatever. And then he put it on his um, his other hand, his throwing hand after the field. So that was really neat, I thought. Um, this is a 1993 Hostess. Some of you guys probably seen those in Fairfield boxes. I don't think I got that one in a Fairfield box. Uh, this is a 1994 First day issue, Stadium Club. So that says, I know you can't see. Yeah, you can kind of see. Um, from 2000, Fleer Mystique. Again, I love that set. 2006, Fleer Ultra. 2008, Stadium Club. 2008 mo Tops Moments and Milestones career under career wins and it is numbered 67 out of 150 2008 Upper Deck Series 2 checklist Next up is Paul Goldschmidt, 
from 2012 Bowman is a uh, Bowman Gold. 2012 Tops Gold Futures insert. 2012 Gypsy Queen Future Stars insert. 2013 Tops Finest. 2013 Triple Play. 2014 Prism. And it's a little little shinier than normal because this is a Prism card. Prism. Prism. 2014 Runs Batted In Leaders, Gold, Goldschmidt, Bruce, and Freeman. And that is, where's an, oh, there it is, 995 of 2014. Then the 2014 All Star Red Shimmer. I think that's what it's, it's called, that variation. From 2014 Tops Chrome. I don't remember what these cards are. What this set subset's called. I think it's 89. It says 89 Tops Chrome. P 89 Tops Chrome set. I suppose. 2015 Donruss. Diamond King insert. 2015 uh, Panini Prism. Pink variation. Pink Prism. And those came in um, rack packs, I think. They gave you like one little pink pack and you got like three, three or four of these. From 2015 Prism Fireworks insert. I think that's an awesome card. 2015 Tops Archetypes insert. 2015 Tops Heart of the Order insert. 2016 Optic Pink. Um, pink, uh, uh, what do you call those? Um, well, pink variation. 2016 Optic Power Alley. 2016 Tops Chrome Refractor. Refractor on the back. Next is Carlos Gomez from 2015 Allen and Ginter Starting Points. 2015 Hit the Dirt insert from opening day. Carlos Gomez looks like he was going to be like a five tool player. He had that one or two good years and then he just faded out. Um, from 2005, Upper Deck First Pitch. It's an Adrian Gonzalez star rookie. 2007, Fleer, Adrian Gonzalez. 2007, Tops Opening Day, Diamond Stars insert. 2007 Fleer Ultra. 2007 Upper Deck Artifacts. 2008 Stadium Club. 2008 Upper Deck X. 2009 Tops. All-Star, 
2000, another 2009 All Star. Actually, I think the one before was his All Star, All Star or no, his home derby card. Um, from 2009 tops, tops top tops town insert. Another, another. Forgive me, I'm having trouble speaking today for some reason. I apologize. Um, this, uh, yeah, 2010 Bowman Chrome refractor. Not numbered or anything. There's a refractor you can see. 2010 All Star from Tops. 2010 Tops Attacks insert. 2010 Tops Town insert. 2010 Tops Heritage. 2011 Tops. 2011 Tops Diamond Anniversary. A little silver sparkle action going on. 2011 Diamond Duo insert with him and Kevin Euclid. From 2013 Bowman Chrome, um, an Adrian Gonzalez refractor. 2012 Prism oh no that was 2012 not 2013 another one of those from 2012 tops his uh, cognac card I believe that's what that's called I just call it a gold sparkle, but whatever. 2012 Bowman or Tops Chrome. 2012 Tops Chrome Refractor. It's refractor right there. I'll show you. 2012 um, Tops Heritage. 2013 Tops, 2013 Tops um, World Baseball Classic insert. That's a cool uniform. When is that from? Oh, Mexico. I didn't know Adrian Gonzalez was from Mexico. I figured Venezuela or something like that. 2013. Allen and Ginter across the years, insert. 2013 Tops Chrome um, refractor. It's a super fractor, X fractor, or whatever. Some kind of fractor, refractor. Um, from 2013 Tops Chrome. Adrian Gonzalez, this die cut. I don't know what this set is, but it's really neat. I've shown a few of these cards before. I like these. Um, from 2014 tops, Adrian Gonzalez high number. Yeah, from this set, it's either after 400. I think it's after 400 that they're all high number and they're. Uh, Short prints from 2015 Allen and Ginter mini with the green Allen and Ginter back. From 2015 Heritage, Adrian Gonzalez mini with a blank back. Next player up is Cargo Carlos Gonzalez. That's from 2008 Spectrum. And yes, he was on the A's. 
Oakland Athletics when he came into the league. Let's see his uh, first year stats. Nothing spectacular. 242 average, 302 at bats, 73 hits, 22 doubles, 4 homers, 26 RBIs, 4 stolen bases. I know I'm, it's hard to. It won't, will not focus for me, of course. Um, but he was only on there for a year, and then he was traded to the Rockies, which, of course, that's where we know him from. That's 2009 tops, black card. The set was not black, but that one was. From 2010 tops, chrome cargo. 2010 tops 206 cargo. I really like that card of him. Two thousand eleven Allen and Ginter. Another. Two thousand twelve Bowman Chrome. Two thousand twelve Bowman Platinum. Two thousand twelve Prism. 2012 Tops, another, 2012 Tops Golden Moments insert, better luck next time, hmm, wonder what that is, Cubs worked so hard to get back into the game on July 31st, 2010, scoring three runs in the eighth to complete their rally from a 4-0 deficit to tie the game 5-5. Gonzalez, though, made all that effort meaningless with one hack. Carlos homered on the first pitch leading off the bottom of the ninth to propel the Rockies to a 6-5 victory. That's cool. Another one of those. 2012, Allen and Ginter. 2012 Archives, 2012 Opening Day Fantasy Squad Insert, Everybody's Favorite, 2012 Carlos Gonzalez. I don't mind, I don't mind these so much. I know they're made for kids, but they don't really bother me. I know they're not worth much, but they're all right. I don't really, they don't bother me. From 2013, Tops, Tops Mini. 2013, From 2013, Tops, Chase It Down, insert. It has Chase It Down there on that little line. It's kind of neat. 2013, World Baseball Classic, insert. I like Venezuela's unis also. Those are neat. Got two of those. From 2013, Allen and Ginter. Another. 2013, Allen and Ginter Across the Years insert. 2013, Gypsy Queen, Sliding Stars insert. Kind of cool. I like those Gypsy Queen cards. From 2014, Donruss Diamond King. From 2014, uh, Topps Chrome Purple Refractor. Not numbered. But still neat nonetheless. So, yeah, it says refractor right there in that corner. I know it has like a different number on the bottom, although I can't zoom in on it for you guys. It would take forever. Last but not least today is uh, Giovanni Gonzalez, or Gio Gonzalez to you, you guys. 
It's uh, Bowman Chrome from 2005. I really like that card. I picked that card up at a uh, garage sale. Really cool, I thought. Um, 2012 Tops Mini Geo. This is a 2012 Archives, um, but this is a gold one. I don't. I don't know what these were called, if it's just called gold foil or it's some other variation or something, but really cool. From uh, 2012 Heritage, this is a Heritage Chrome card. This is uh, numbered 346 out of 1963. For some reason, I got a lot of uh, Topps Heritage that year. Um, there was a Rite Aid um, by where I lived um, in 2012 that uh, sold nothing but they had like Tops and they had these. And I would get literally... A pack of these every other day almost I'd say three three times a week and uh, yeah so I got a lot a lot of these I was going a little crazy I had a baseball card fever for a while well I still do who am I fooling from 2013 tops a mini of his 2013 Gypsy Queen Mini. Not numbered or anything, but neat nonetheless. And last but not least, a 2014 Topps Chrome Refractor. See, there's a refractor sign, so... Who knows? I can't even remember where he's at now. You know, these uh, these new players come out and they play good and the old players are forgotten. But that's the way it is. You get old and they take you out to the pasture. So, oh well. It's sad, but that's life. Alright guys, enough babbling. I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching, and thank you for supporting my channel. Um, I got a little shout-out here. Um, the Buff Man 17 is having his uh, 2,000 subscriber giveaway soon, hopefully. And if you guys would support his channel, if you're not already doing so, and sub subscribe to it and pass the word around that he's you know having that, and try to get more people to sub him because he is an awesome guy with an awesome channel. And guys, he's Hawaiian. He's from Hawaii. Well, I don't know if he's Hawaiian, but he's from Hawaii. So there's not much cooler than that. I mean, Dog the Bounty Hunter comes from Hawaii. So not, well, he, I take that back. Dog the Bounty Hunter comes from Colorado, but he had a show in Hawaii. So close enough, right? All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Bye.